As I begin this video, I want to let you know that what I hold in my hands right here is top secret. Well, I mean, until we talk about what it is. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show, and today's going to be a little different. Yeah, buddy, yeah, it is. It was just a couple of weeks ago over on my other YouTube channel, Joe Does Stuff, where I was doing a live stream. I would open up the phone lines and folks would be calling in to me. And one of the people who called in was an awesome person by the name of Dan from Michigan. So as I begin this, I want to give a very special shout out to Dan from Michigan. Hey brother, you inspire this video entirely. All because of what's inside of this manila envelope right here. So I just got this in the mail today. I went to the P.O. box and interestingly enough, this was the only thing that was in there aside from a bunch of junk mail. But when I saw the envelope, I thought to myself, hey, wait a minute. I was talking with this guy a couple of weeks ago and he was mentioning sending that. And boy, when I share with you what that is, oh boy, are we in for a treat here today. When I think back to serving time, seeing something like this brings me back. The trusty, rusty manila envelope right here. A cloak of invisibility, so to speak. And you know when you serve time, you will oftentimes see these. A lot of guys put cases, their, their court information inside of these. Sort of a telltale as well, like if it's in a manila envelope, it's probably some court case information like a motion of discovery, basically the entire inner workings of your court case. If anybody wanted to jump on your case, What's inside of one of these could potentially be how they could go about doing so. You steal this, boy, you got a key to the city, kind of. I mean, if this helps you in court trying to testify against that dude, well, you most certainly could get yourself a little get-out-of-jail-free card, maybe an earlier release date. But not only will guys in prison put case information inside of a manila envelope, maybe they're writing a book, they'll put the book pages inside of the manila envelope, maybe they're writing a movie script, a screenplay? Just because it's prison doesn't mean a guy's not trying to rewrite the Nutcracker. <laughs> Except the prison version. I don't know what I was trying to do right there, but I definitely fucking failed. Outside of those things, a manila envelope could also be a good hiding spot for the nefarious one. I mean, the nefarious material. And when I tell you that's exactly what's up inside of here, well, it is. I, I was shocked, surprised to see what I would see in here. I haven't seen one of these. Helicopter! Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to film a video! Right behind here, a little alleyway. Neighbors walk their dogs and their children on leashes. Uh, up and down this alleyway. Just before filming this video, there was a woman back there uh, with a toddler on a leash, and uh, hope she's not still back there. Ain't no telling what she would be thinking about, what she just heard, or any of this video, as a matter of fact, considering we're talking about pornographic material inside of a prison. Exactly what's up inside of here. Now, before we even open this, I need to let you know, what is inside of here, I have not even seen anything like this since serving time. Joe, you trying to tell me you ain't watched no porn since you've been home from prison? No. No, I haven't. Folks, what's inside of here is legitimately the holy grail mecca of nefarious material. If you are so lucky as to be able to get this while serving time, this joint is like an American Express black card. This will get you anything, anything that you could ever want on the prison compound. Respect, clout, drugs, cigarettes, phone time, friends, protection. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily know that you could get all of those things, but you could certainly get a lot of things with what's inside of here. However, I do need to mention this. I should really say you used to be able to get all of those things with something like this. Nowadays, I'm not so sure. You know, what we're talking about up inside of here is a print publication, a magazine. This ain't no Playboy, this ain't no penthouse, this is the top dog holy grail of all that type of nefarious content. But like I say, 
I'm not so certain that nowadays this carries the same value as it did back in my day. Back in my day, this joint was like a current day Bitcoin, $44,000. I mean, just using that as an example. But nowadays, you got this up in the prison, I mean, I'm sure it still has some value. But does it have as much considering how commonplace contraband cellular phones? <laughs> cellular phones? Oh shit, you got an eye cellular phone. Cellular phones. Nobody's saying that at all. Yeah, with as commonplace as the contraband phones are up inside of the prisons, back in the day, you would rent time with this. Uh, you know, 30 minutes or maybe... 30 minutes, seven days a week, or maybe, you know, 24 hours, or maybe some Xeroxed copies of pages. You know, there was a lot of different ways a guy could make money just having this. But now with the phones, you might do the same thing, not Xerox copies, but maybe, hey, look, you can rent the phone for 30 minutes to surf the internet. You can go get up on the hub for like 30 minutes and my God, I can't even imagine what that would be like being locked up, having access to that sort of nefarious material. Like it's unlimited, right? Can you imagine what the search history on those contraband phones is looking like? Oh, what's this right here? What's this right here, little dookie stain? A contraband cellular phone? Well, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do before I take this from you and then lock you down, take you outside of this prison down to the magistrate because, boy, getting caught with a cell phone in prison, about one of the worst things that you could do, at least back in the day it was. Maybe they've lessened uh, the penalty and the severity of getting caught with a phone. Back in the day, this was a major security threat or a major security risk right here. You could be out there trying to plan your escape. Yes, yes ma'am, Miss Lisa Jones. Bring the bolt cutters to the northwestern side of the rec yard perimeter fence. Yes ma'am, just leave them right there. We'll take care of the rest. We'll take care of the rest. Nope, nobody's listening to these calls. This is a contraband cell phone. Yeah, little dookie stain, before I take this phone from you, let's go ahead and check your browser history. What? Midgets with mustache and feet pics? <laughs> Hairy feet? <laughs> Hente? That's actually shocking to me right there. Lil Dookie Stan, I expected better from you. The short of it is, I don't know that this carries the same weight as it did back in the day, but I got to imagine that it does. Even as commonplace as those cell phones are, guess what? Something like this is probably just as good still. And again, you can rent this, you can buy timeshare space with it. It's a timeshare, basically. I'm gonna give you $20 a month, that's my rent, and I get to look at this thing, you know, I, I got a 30 minute window from 7 to 7.30 p.m. every single day. Then if you can get these pages Xerox, my God, you can sell those pages for basically any price that you want to. The more explicit, the more expensive. And think about trying to get this into the institution first and foremost. Is it a guard that brings this into you? Folks, this is a $14 magazine, what I hold in my hands. I've already seen, I've already seen it. Uh, so I know that it's a $14 magazine. But on the inside, that's times 10, basically. Or times even more, maybe times 20. You're talking maybe 140, maybe even more dollars to get this. You think a guard would risk bringing in this magazine? Absolutely. Dog, you gonna give me $100 to bring in the magazine? Shit, I'm gonna do that all day long. It ain't no drugs. And a prisoner could make thousands of dollars with this right here. Joe, when are you gonna open it up? I really wanna see what you got right there. I'm, I'm about to do that right now. All right, so first and foremost, obviously this is YouTube, so I really can't do but so much with this. I'm gonna show you what it is. But when I was talking to Dan from Michigan on the live stream a couple of weeks ago over on Joe Does Stuff, he mentioned sending me this magazine. I said, Dan, if you send that magazine to me, one, I'm going to pay you for it. Dan, I'm going to send you a $50 Amazon gift card for sending this to me, for going out of your way to do so. Send me an email with your email address and your last name as well. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna do that for you, man. I really appreciate you sending this to me. And we are gonna do exactly what I said we were gonna do with this. I said, if you send it, I'm gonna do a reaction video, but I can't show you what I'm looking at. <laughs> I can only show you my facial expressions. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how that all plays out moving forward, right? All right, let me go ahead and 
open this up and the first thing that I want to say is this joint ain't even been opened up. Folks, the first thing that it says is that this is a Buttman magazine and inside is a bonus DVD. Still in the plastic. When I was talking with Dan and he mentioned sending this to me, and then when I went to the P.O. box today and realized that this was the only thing that was in there, I thought to myself, I didn't have this opened yet. I figured that that's what this was. And I said, Dan, watch me open this joint and the pages are going to be all stuck together. Something that you'll experience and deal with serving time, getting your hands on one of these. But to get one in this condition, still in the plastic, unopened, and they got the DVD, the full length Evil Eyes DVD inside, you're a millionaire in prison. Straight up, if you got this. All right. Oh shit, somebody's walking by. Somebody's walking by and I'm doing a reaction video to a porno magazine. Isn't that ironic? All right, as I pull this thing out of the plastic right here, I noticed that, wow, Zers. On the cover here, whew, oh, boy, <laughs> this joint is taking me back right here. Yikes. This is volume 17, number one. The price for this magazine is $14.95. And my God, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. So let me go ahead and try to show you the cover of this right here. And yowzers. Can you see that right there? Now, I can't go no further now. I can't go no further because it gets super nefarious. Going a little lower. Yeah, it does, man. This joint like a Batman comic book, except it's not. It's a butt man, folks. This is, again, the holy grail mecca in terms of nefarious content that you can get while you're serving time. What's even more about this that I find absolutely intriguing is, folks, if I could show you this without the booty cheeks being let loose, if you notice right there, it says, last issue. Dan, you done sent me a collector's issue right here. $14.95 is what this thing says on the cover, but is this thing worth some money? I think about vintage Playboys and things like that. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, I'm about to look this up right now and see if there's any value to this. If this thing's worth some money, hey, we, can, can we split that? Also mentioned in the bottom right corner right there, I know you're seeing the fishnets. It says full length XXX hardcore DVD included inside. Yowzers in the trousers. On the back, it's almost like a double magazine, right? Like a DP issue, probably quite a bit of that in here. Uh, but on the back, I can't show you no more because you see that right there? That, that, hey, that's a June right there. That is a cake right there. It says the end. My God, you mean to tell me this is the very last one of these? If you could have got this, which I'm guaranteeing somebody on the inside, they got this. Boy, this joint right here, this will get you all, this will get you anything that you could possibly want. All right, now, I hate to look this up because it's going to look like I'm looking up porn in my browser history. Okay, so here's one that has the magazine new in stock for $25. I can't find anything else on this for sale. I'm going to have to do some investigating, find out if it does have any value. Um, this is from February of 2014 is when this magazine came out. This joint's already got a little bit of aged, like a fine wine, like a fine wine, right? But here's something interesting that I ran across and I want to share with you guys. It's called Shops NX. Basically what it says, it's called a Special Needs Express. And this is one of these inmate concierge services, it looks like. There's, there's a Buttman magazine right there that's showing quite a bit much on the cover. Boy, I, I, if you could see what my eyes are seeing right now, that's crazy. But uh, moving on, this says Buttman Explicit Magazine 
New York, New Jersey, New England, N-E, is that New England or is that Nevada? State facilities only, $10. Uh, you can get this magazine. It looks like, it says, be sure to check your facility rules. This magazine contains penetration images that may be rejected if facilities are not in New York, New Jersey, N and N-E state. Wow, there's another magazine I've never heard of right here. It's called BBO Magazine. Bad bitches only. Yowzers. This was a video idea that I wanted to do separately. Uh, these prison concierge services and what they provide and reacting to some of that. We're going to do that coming soon. I can't find any more information on what this is going for right now, but I don't want to open this just yet. I really don't. I need to go ahead and put this back in the plastic and I need to make sure that I let my wife know I didn't order this, okay? This is not for me. What I want to do is do the reaction with the eyeballs video. But that means that we've got to open up this magazine, right? So, if that's a video that you want to see Joe reacting to the contents of what's inside of this last issue, leave a like and a comment down below. Matter of fact, let's do a poll. We'll do a poll instead. Uh, on my Twitter, which I barely ever use, but Twitter's good for doing polls. Hey, follow me at Joe P. Guerrero. I'm gonna put a poll there, so by the time you're seeing this video, the poll will be there. You vote. Should we open it and do the reaction video, or should we uh, not? because this might be a collector's item. Also, real quick before I wrap this up, there was something else that I wanted to mention. Oh, this, in, this idea of reacting using the eyeballs only, it's inspired by an incident that I saw when I was serving time in prison. I'll share this story with you guys real quick. I've shared it before, but I'll do so again real quick. The reason I'm inspired to do a video like that, because obviously I can't show you the contents of what's in this magazine unless I start like an OnlyFans. But there was this guy this one time who was looking at a Hallmark magazine, children's magazine, right? He was looking at a fucking Hallmark magazine. Sitting in his bunk, straight creepazoid weirdo do, legs dangling down, probably disturbing the guy who was living on the bunk below him. Uh, you don't really dangle the feet down below, especially if you got the dude sitting right down there. You got to be like way on the end of the bunk or something, or maybe over the front of the bunk or something, but you don't put the feet down, okay? Because dudes really ain't got the foot fetishes, or maybe they do, and you don't want to find out one way or another by disrespecting the guys living on the bunk below you, but that's not really what this is about. Dude was looking at this Hallmark magazine, and I just knew it was a false bottom. It had a trap door compartment, like some luggage with kilos and a false bottom. I knew that there was a nefarious magazine on the inside of this. What nefarious magazine? I did not know. But I knew that it was. Because nobody is going to be looking at a fucking Hallmark... Highlights, not Hallmark. A Highlights magazine like this. I thought dude was about to try to snort a line of one of the pages. He was in, he was enthralled <laughs> in whatever the contents of that fake cover had going on in there. Folks, that's all I got. Hey, Dan, shout out to you, brother. Thank you so much for this. Uh, this was an awesome trip down memory lane right here. You know, when I served time, you would see Xerox copies of pages of this. I never was never cool enough, was never on the in crowd enough. And really, it doesn't even matter about that. I never was able to see in real life an actual full magazine like this. All I ever saw was either black and white pages or little pieces of pages cut out, put into little pocket rockets, little miniature flip books that you would put together in an effort to be able to sneak those anywhere in an effort to jerk off because in prison, it's anywhere you can get it. Meaning if the time is right, it's on site.
Oh shit, there ain't nobody around and I'm over here in the mop closet. <laughs> you better bet it. I never saw one of these in real life. All I saw were bits and pieces of this. I've met guys since coming home who said that they had it while locked up, but I, I can't confirm nor deny that. This while in prison is almost like a fucking unicorn. You want to believe that it exists, but you're not really sure because you've never seen it for yourself. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!